all right what's going on guys once again we are back in the impala and as you guys can tell i got a new build in here for you this is the sundown audio x8 this is the version three of this and we're going to be testing this guy today in a horn enclosure that i built for it this is strictly spl okay i know most horns built for sound quality right in terms of the horn itself okay originally horns was made for home audio but of course you can take an enclosure and put it wherever the hell you want and in this case we're going to be building this for spl now this does not have a flat response at all okay it has two peaks one around 80 and you got another one around 40 or 35 hertz whatever the case is we are now in my car and we're trying to see what the peak value is going to be here in this environment Okay, so before we get started, a little bit about the horn. This is a real loaded horn enclosure, and it's built for SPL only. There is no internal fillings or sound treatment on the inside of this. It currently has a fundamental frequency of 31 hertz. All right, so the throat itself is 7.5 by 7.5 inches. They give you a total area of 56.25 square inches, all right? The neck has a total length of 115 and a half inches and the mouth is 7.5 by 9.5, which gives you a total area of 71 and a quarter square inches. We have the SMD AMM1. This is an audio multimeter. We're gonna be using this to measure the real world power during our bass meter. We have the SPL Lab mini bass meter down here in the kick, and we're gonna be using it to measure our SPL score in decibels all right guys so what we're going to be doing now is the bass sweep and the purpose of this is just to see what our peaks are right we're going to be doing a bass sweep from 150 hertz down to 20 hertz this test is important because this is how we found out what our cabin peak is okay i'm going to leave the uh bass sweep here and i'm gonna let you guys try to get the um the the wattage and voltage over here okay so let's hit play. And that's 20 hertz. Wow, that thing sounds really, really good. All right, we got a, uh, and that was really low wattage. I didn't see exactly what wattage that was, but it was really, really low. We got a 129.5. Let's go and go into mode. 36 hertz, that's pretty damn good. I'm gonna set it to 36 and we're gonna get back at this. So there's two ways to run this test. You can crawl into your frequency or you can burp it. We're gonna be doing both. The first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this to 36. And then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna use the bass knob to crawl into that frequency slowly and see what the bass meter has to say about it. And then we're gonna use another application to burp it. I wanna see what my value is for the RMS rating of this subwoofer. I already put the bass meter on dyno mode. So the RMS rating of the Sundown X8 is I believe 800 watts, but I know it can do a thousand all day, right? So I'm gonna see what it behaves like in this open environment, because basically a horn enclosure, it's like a transmission line almost, to be honest with you. It doesn't have a whole lot of back pressure, so it'll bottom itself out really, really easily. So what I'm gonna be doing is is monitoring it basically with the smd amm1 all right so let's press play so that's 964 watts at 3.8 ohms so that pulled a 138.4 let's try that again Too much power. 
It bottomed out at 1300. I've had this subwoofer for a long time, guys. I've never heard it bottom out. That's why I was telling people about these about these type of enclosures. They'll destroy your subwoofer if you don't know how they work. You see, they don't they don't build up a whole lot of pressure. So you got to be careful with that. So now that I know that, I'm going to um I'm going to try to burp it at the uh at the level that I have it at now on the base knob and hopefully it doesn't destroy itself. This app right here is what I burp with and we're going to try this at multiple frequencies, okay? All right, coming up first is going to be 35 hertz. Wow, that was very, very low, guys. Look at that. 144. 144 watts got us a 130 out of that. Can you believe that? 144 watts. Wow. 35 again. I turn up the bass a little bit. Let's put it on 44. There we go. 291 watts. 130.4. I'm going to try 46 this time. 35 hertz. Ooh, that sounds so good, man. 453 watt, a 132.3. Let's not play with this. Let's go ahead and put this on 50. I want to see what it can do. 35 hertz. Damn. God damn. Wow, who would have thought that many ticks? <laughs> it wasn't before ticks. So 134, that's a horrible score because it bottomed out. Yeah, man, you got to be careful with these horns, man. Oh my God, I better put this back on 44. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it back on 44. 1400 watts, pretty much wide open. Poor little thing. 36 hertz. That's 518 watts at 3.9 ohms. 134.9. Let's put this on 47. We know to go up gradually this time. So 36 hertz. Man, that sounds so good, man. 654 watts. That sounds so good. Now we got a 136.4. 136.4. All right, so we're going to go up. We're going up one at a time. <laughs> All right, 36 hertz. Whoa, shit. I can tell now that uh, it's, it's, it's about to reach his peak. A 136.5. And that was 800... 95 watts at 3.7 ohms. Man, I don't even want to go up to that 50. It didn't sound right to me. That may just bottom it out again. I don't I don't want to keep doing it to this. So you know what? It's for the channel, man. Let's do it. It's for y'all. So let you learn from my mistakes if I blow this thing up. 36 hertz. Hey, I knew it was gonna do that. Thousand watts, pretty much wide open, guys. Look at this. 3.6 ohm at 1,094 watts and 136.5. I recommend only playing your subs at RMS rating if you're going to get a horn enclosure. These enclosures are, are very unforgiving if you overpower them. And if you don't have the X Max or the mechanical travel in order to support, you know, how output, don't do this. Okay, now it's time for me to turn this thing around and see if our numbers change. I'm gonna keep everything the same, just reposition the box. If you guys are interested in any of the items featured in this video, there are affiliate links in the description box below. Any purchases made through those links helps this channel tremendously. So thanks in advance, you guys are highly appreciated. Okay, as y'all can see, I got the box turned around now. And man, that thing is heavy, but anyway, that's the reason why I don't like building with MDF for these test rigs. Now we know we went all the way up to 48 with no problems, but we did uh, bottom out on 49. So I'm gonna get the base application going again and we're gonna run that test. 36 hertz. Man, that sound good. That's a 133.7. Increase this to 47 and run that again. 36 hertz. That's a 135.1. We're gonna put this on 48. And we're gonna run it again, 36 hertz. 136.7. We're gonna just do it anyway. Put it on 49 and see if it bottoms out or not. 
it is building up some pressure back there against the trunk so let's give it a go 36 hertz couldn't really tell it's still a 136.7 37 hertz 136.9 38 hertz bottom it bottom out on that one and i'm scared to put it up to 50 so i'm not going to do that i'm going to use the other app to creep into 36 hertz all right so this is our other application right here we have it on 36 hertz we're going to hit play and we're going to increase our bass knob until it gets to 48. so hit play Oh man, that's a 139. That's almost a 140. 139, wow. I think I know what's going on with these two applications. I think this application here has a higher voltage output than the other one does. Okay, so that's pretty much zeroed out. Got this on 35. We're gonna hit play for 36. Wow, man, that's a 139.4. Practically a 140, man, out of this one damn eight inch sub. Well, God, uh, I think that that sub is amazing. I guess you, I know you guys can see that. A single eight inch sub with uh, doing all that. I never really gave the X8 a chance, you know, but now I really want to try other builds with it. Because this is very, very impressive. A 139.4 of an 8 inch subwoofer in a horn enclosure. Good grief. Hope y'all like that. Thanks for visiting the channel to help you simplify car audio. It's the Budget Bass here, and I'm out.